Okay, column I. I want to bring in the day of the week that the student submitted this form link. What I'm going to do is I'm going to pull information from this timestamp. In order to do this, I'll use a text formula. So equals text, open parenthesis, cell where I would get that from, comma. If I want to get the actual name of the day of the week, I can just type in a four Ds. When I hit enter, now I'll see this was submitted on a Sunday. I could also use M for months. Maybe I want to know the month it was submitted. In this case, it would be September. I'll go back and use D uh, for days because that's what was in the instructions. This is a really helpful thing. I'll copy it down uh, to see uh, maybe days or months if you're tracking data. And again, that's going to be found in the text format. Uh, it's a slide here. We'll talk more about how that looks. Next thing I'm going to do in row J is going to be create a QR code for the link. It could be a good way to get access to student projects or whatever else. And for this guy, what I'm going to recommend that you do is simply go on down to the formula that we had here, which was in uh, uh, instruction number 13. And I'm going to highlight this because there's a lot of pieces and parts to it. And I'm going to copy it. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over to the first row and I'm going to paste special because I don't want the, the box to turn purple or mauve or whatever this is. So I'll do values only. And what you notice now is a QR code has been created for, in this case, a firm.com. If I double click and copy it down, every single row have its own unique QR code for that website. Some are pretty small. So what you could do is if you want to go to one, just make the rows bigger, and then you'll be able to get it. Uh, you'll be able to copy that like a picture, put that onto a document or whatever else. Really convenient way to get a lot of information that you might need. Uh, anyhow, uh, these are a couple ways that now you can mash up a query. You can do sorting and organizing. You can do a VLOOKUP. You can break down a timestamp to a day of the week or a month. And you can also make QR codes out of links. Really, really cool things. Uh, go ahead and change the tab color uh, to like that dusty rose mauve. I think it's that one. And you're done with this challenge. Uh, come back to this as you need it, and good job.